my name is Naomi and if you're new here I make videos on my journey to becoming an entrepreneur and I am becoming a candle business owner so today I am making candles and I am using the wicks that I actually just got in the mail recently if you see my Instagram story you will have seen me unboxing those wicks so I'm going to be using those today and also I am trying to become a little bit more healthier. This journey with me becoming an entrepreneur has kind of jump started my journey to also um, you know just like be a healthier version of me. So um, I'm going to the grocery store today because I need to get some vegetables for juicing so I'm going to show you guys that in the vlog today and well, you know what? Let's just get right into this video. <laughs> I need to get some um, vegetables for my juice because I'm trying to be healthy and your girl's trying to be skinny so <laughs> so I'm going to the store I also need to go to my mom's house because I ordered this package from Alibaba and it has been the craziest process I'm gonna tell you guys about that later when I open the package but I'm about to go get the package um, I'm actually at my mom's house right now, so I'm gonna go and get this package, okay? Cause I'm like super nervous and but excited at the same time because I'm like, oh my god, what if these are lids for my candle jars? And I'm so scared, like what if it does not fit my candle jars? After all of this process, if it does not fit, I'm gonna be so disappointed <laughs> because I was gonna be I'm gonna be going right back to square one okay so I can't no I can't all right let me get it okay so I got I got the package and I'm about to go home or no I'm about to go to the grocery store and then I'll see you guys at home to fit my jars like I cannot order another sample of lids and they do not fit my jars this time I was able to like give specific measurements um so I'm hoping that it comes out right I'm like I just like can somebody else come open this package for me because I'm like so nervous I haven't been this nervous for something in so long oh my god Oh my God. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's open it, let's open it. Oh my God. 
I'm so stressed. Uh, you guys hear snoring? That is my dog. He is right next to me. He looks so suspect. I can't find for some reason my... This looks so scary. Why does this look so scary? <laughs> This looks so scary. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, I have one of my jars just on the side. So okay. I'm like so nervous right now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting sweaty. I'm getting sweaty, y'all. Okay. I'm getting sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. <sighs> okay, so this is the this is the size. This is the other size. This is not this thing here. This is not I don't even know why that's there, but whatever. He gave he sent me just samples, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna put it on one of the candles. This is this is making me so nervous. Oh, okay. It's weird. This doesn't have that thing on it. Okay. That is really weird. And that is not... Wow. Why does it look like this? Oh, lordy lord. It's weird. They're, these look nice. This is the shiny black. This is the matte black. And this fits, but it's so weird that it doesn't fit with this thing. Oh, boy. I mean, it fits, but it's like So weird. I have these, which are probably the exact size, but it has this weird thing in it that doesn't make it go in. Like this one is, that one goes in, but that's a color that I don't want. So I, I wanted to get black and I got this color because I wanted to see what it looked like. And wow, okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go cry now. See you later.
of this big mama and I'm going to be making <laughs> candles today with big mama I got my wicks get in my jars so I'm using the matte black candle jars today and I'm going to be testing banana nut bread and pistachio dream <laughs> They smell amazing. The pistachio dream surprised me. I love pistachio. I don't know if other people love pistachio as much as I do, but I love pistachio and um, I don't think I've ever like smelled a pistachio and was like, oh my God, this is amazing. But the, <laughs> but the, the fragrance oil smells really nice. So I'm just cleaning the jars with alcohol. I got this trick from actually another YouTuber. I gotta start remembering these people's names because <laughs> they've helped me out a lot. You know, it's better to probably use the cleaner than, I mean, the alcohol than to use the cleaner. It helps to get rid of the debris and then it helps for these wicks in particular to stick better, especially since I'm using the, the little stickers at the bottom. So I actually went to Etsy and I purchased these um, wick stabilizers, I think they're called. Um, and they have like these really cute little floral, like she had actually three different um, patterns. And I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is so cute. This is not like the regular one where it's, you know, plain. I was like, these are so cute. So I bought those, those actually helped me center the wicks. You know, this thing takes forever, forever to melt, but it's okay. I have to start planning it out a little bit better. So I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be using the um, this little scale for my fragrance oil. And I, I also got this idea from another YouTuber. Um, she had a list of things. I think it was Memory Box Candle Co. I think <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> yeah, so this is how I measure my fragrance oil. I try to do this before I pour. Um, I'm still getting used to Big Mama. Big Mama is a little different than the way I was, you know, making candles before, but it's I'm starting to get used to it. I am. I'm starting to get used to it. So I always check the temperature because I like to pour my fragrance oil around like 185, 190 degrees because it's better. I feel like it's better to pour the fragrance oil in that way just because I'm stirring for a longer period of time and it does, the more I stir, the more degrees it goes down and I would rather pour it at a higher degree to get a... um. A perfect temperature once I finish stirring people say to stir for like two minutes I maybe 45 seconds I think I stir for so I really love this wick color with the matte black it's just really beautiful and when the white starts to come out from the wax it just makes it even more beautiful so this is the next fragrance that I'm using and I find these little glass jars to be super helpful. I'll try to use plastic and plastic actually, it takes up the fragrance oil a little bit and it kind of, it's, you know, hard to get that scent out. So this is, this I'm actually going to be replacing this scale because I feel like this scale is a little wonky. You might see it soon because it starts to like flash and stuff and I'm like, I need a new one. Or it could be because I'm putting hot ass. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. I'm putting <laughs> I'm putting hot wax um in the picture and then it's on top of that. And maybe that's what's maybe I should put like something underneath. That's what I was thinking. I think I saw somebody do that. Um I might do that. Cause that, you know, 
it might be the reason why it's going a little wonky but i just feel like i, I just need a better scale for this yeah that's probably what i should use i should put that underneath there on top of the scale i don't know if it's gonna register as much like the pers the um, the grams well anyways here i am stirring again and yeah so i'm gonna be pouring this is my second jar it's it's a lot harder to like make candles and um with one scent you know like i could just i haven't done batches yet so i'm excited to do batches to see how much easier it is well i'm gonna be cutting this video short you guys i really appreciate you guys for clicking on my video and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel i will be making more videos like this and there will be a lot more studio vlogs because I am purchasing a lot more items. Um, I do have a couple of unboxings to do soon. So I would love for you guys, if you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye.